back now with one of my all-time faves, Danielle Steele. For more than, can't be, 40 years, her novels have captured readers' hearts. She's here with the latest on her new book, Property of a Noble Woman, as you are. Wonderful to see you again. I t I'm saving this for my spring break so in Key West in a couple of weeks. <laughs> um, but it's always a thrill to see you, Robin. How I'm many? so happy. How, look, how many now? Have it's you lost count? when I see them. No, I just finished my 150th book. Last week, oh. and so you write exciting. so many at the same at the I same time. I usually have five going at once. And you said that this year you're going to have six books out. How do you do it, Danielle? I don't. I, that's all I do. I work all the time. But Random House very sweetly is doing six books this year, because the readers keep saying, "Can't you write more? Can't you write faster?" It's like, are you kidding? I never get out of my house. Yeah. I'm one of those. I'm guilty. I'm the same one. <laughs> Tell us about this latest one, Property of a Noble Woman. This boy. is a, an exciting one. I'm often intrigued by much older people who we have no idea who they were originally. And it's a woman who dies. No one really knows who she is. She leaves a safe deposit box with fascinating letters, a fortune in jewelry, even though everyone thought she was dead broke. And two people, one from the surrogates court, one from an auction house, want to find out who she was. And they pursue her trail and find all kinds of surprises and interesting things. I always do in your book. Really exciting. And you said you really, you always have fun, but you really enjoyed this one, I writing did. this. Why? It was, it, well, the woman was so intriguing and following her history and and it affected the, the current people and and it turns out one of them is related to her and Ooh. really exciting. It's always that little twist. I know, when you, when I you're love you're the little a, twist. You're always and a patient. They, they sometimes happen without my help. I was doing one that will be out in a couple of years and the, the main character killed his best friend. How did that you happen? You didn't see that one coming. And I called my editor in the middle of the night. I said, you're not going to believe it. He killed Bill. <laughs> and you're saying that. Well, you have some steel super fans that are here with us. Uh, Jennifer has a question for you. Jennifer? Uh, yes. The beginning, middle, or end. What's the most challenging for you to write? The beginning is the hardest, Ooh. getting started. I usually alphabetize my nail polish. Redo my underwear drawer. I use every call on my children. I'm always looking for an excuse not to start. So that's the hard part. Once I get in the story, then I'm off and running. Just like us. You're just like us, Danielle Steele. <laughs> and uh, Jennifer, does your mother, Darlene, have a question? Yes. If you weren't a writer, what would you be? Mm, dancing girl. No, <laughs> I'm probably a designer because that was my training and I've always liked the idea of being a lawyer, but I actually really love what I do. I wrote my first book at 19 and I have been plugging away ever since and I really enjoy my work. I can get you on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> you know, just, just, just in case that's oh, good. <laughs> in case that's what you want to Finally. do. All right, you'd still be riding there on the yeah, on the ballroom floor. So. Thank you for your question, super thank fans over there, Danielle Steele. Thank you so much. I love you, Rowan. Take good, good care oh, of yourself. Always do. Always. That will, that's going to, with me to Key good. West thank next you week. For reading it. Always. And property of a noble woman is available in stores and online right now.